know the Sew Together pattern for May was the Sunday Romper from Love Notions, and today I am so excited to share my version. So the Sunday Romper pattern is a really versatile knit pattern that includes front and back v-neck openings, optional front angled pockets, an elastic casing, two sleeve options, and five bottom options for either a dress or a romper at different lengths. As with most Love Notions patterns, it comes in sizes 0 to 32 and has full bust bodices included. I don't need them, obviously, but I <laughs> like for you guys that do need them, I like that that option is there. So I opted for the Tank Romper Short version in this possibly poly cotton blend knit that I really do love. I got it somewhere in the New York City Garment District years ago, and... It is the perfect combination of drape and structure for something like a romper. When something has like a crotch in it and something has to go over my hips and my bum, I really, really don't like drapey, clingy fabrics. And this one somehow is still nice and lightweight, but doesn't cling to me like some other fabrics can. The front and back v-necks are plenty of room to get in and out of the romper with ease. And if anyone is going to have issues getting in and out of this one, that would be me. Since I made a bodice that's four sizes smaller than the size at my hip. So the neckline has to stretch to get around my hips, but also look great when it's in place as well. This design is a great uh, is great for accomplishing both of those things. I did not have to make any alterations to the neck opening at all, and it stretches out to get over my hips just fine. A lot of that too, I would say, is due to the stretch in the fabric, so keep that in mind. I left the pockets off because I really just don't love pockets in knit garments. They look cute, but then when you go to put anything in them and like actually use them, it just pulls the garment down and creates this like weird lumpy situation at your hips. It's just not for me. I did add the drawstring in addition to the elastic. I like doing this because I can make the elastic casing like roughly the same like width as my waist or the same length as my waist, circumference as my waist, and then use the drawstring to pull it in or let it out depending on the level of inflammation I'm experiencing, any bloat, if I have a big meal, the drawstring really acts as the sort of adjustable quality of the waistline and the elastic is just kind of there to hold it onto my body. I did make quite a few alterations to the pattern, mostly in the shorts, but also in the bodice and I'm going to go through all of them now. I added two inches to the front rise and removed two inches from the back rise. I also removed one and a quarter inches from the height of the side seam. I added three quarters of an inch to the front crotch hook depth and removed the same amount from the back. For the bodice, I added one inch to the side seam at the arm side and then it's graded down to nothing at the waist. I removed half an inch from the length at the bust line in the front only and removed three inches from the length at the waist all the way around to eliminate a lot of the blousing that I saw in the tester photos on the product page. I don't like a lot of blousing at my waist. To me, it creates a lot of like extra volume there that I, I just don't, I need to leave my waist as um, like narrow and cinched in as possible. So here's where I ended up with those changes. I have already made additional changes to the pattern pieces that adds back one inch to the waist length and rotates the shorts or like rotates the crotch position, I guess, closer to the front. And I did this by lowering the front rise and raising the back rise. This should help with some of the like tightness that I feel at the front thigh and keep the inseam from creeping up my inner thighs. I will, of course, keep y'all posted on how this works out. I am still on my pants fitting journey. I feel like I get a little bit closer every time, learn something new every time. So, I mean, I really hope by the end of 2021, I will have like 
everything that I need to adjust on a pants pattern to get them to fit perfectly. But this one's really close. All in all, it's a great pattern that was super easy to put together. When a pattern is easy to construct, I am far more inclined to spend the time and energy I need to on fitting, which I obviously did with this pattern. I know the changes that I've already made helped a bunch, and the next few tweaks will get me as close to perfect as possible until I learn something new about pants fitting, and then I'll be making those alterations too. Or, um, as the kids would say, this Sunday romper walked, so my next one could run. <laughs> but that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye! Bye!